Hey, what's going on my Edmore brothers? Back in for a quick one. I keep getting this question about Issa Rae and the part of her book that she wrote like three or four years ago, uh, Awkward Black Girl. There's a section she talked about black women as in men. And after perusing the few pages that she actually wrote about it, uh, it's something that if you had read uh, what plenty of, not plenty, it was plenty of fish? Yeah, it was plenty of fish. And in their Dataclism book, they actually talked about, how can I say, the dating value of each particular segment. And which uh, group of men and women were most desirable. And what she says just reflects that because she was saying that according to the groups as they as as they see that as it was reported way back in the uh, you know, well back in the 2000s, you know, there's always a thing that the most educated group at, at, by percentage were Asian men and black women. Now, that's not necessarily true, but that is the thing that was reported, even though of all men. All men and women, basically all females in college outnumber all males. So really, as far as educated men and every educated women, there aren't enough men, period, that are educated at that level to go around. But be that it is, maybe we'll get back to that in a minute. So on the surface, it makes logical sense that as far as desirability, as far as the dating market, black women at the bottom and the same thing on the male side, black, the Asian men are at the bottom. Asian men are normally more educated than most groups as far as men are concerned. And according to what black women want to report, that they are the most educated group as far as the females are concerned. So like I said, they are a perfect match. Except for one thing, Asian men and black women don't find each other physically attractive. That has been what I have seen over the past, I guess, say 40 years. They don't normally find each other attractive. Every now and then you see an Asian guy with a uh, black woman. That's you know, normally pretty rare and normally Asian guys don't like black women as far as mates. They usually prefer their own. And if they can't get their own, their second choice is normally white women. I see more Asian guys with white women and their own women doing that than I do with black women. Or vice versa, Asian women with black men. Now, just like Asian women will have sex with black men, but they won't mate with them. They won't have kids by them, nor will they marry them. Same thing with Asian men. They might have sex with black women but they won't marry them. So as far as that is concerned, I see her point. It makes logical sense on the service, even though the thing is, is that she, she said it out loud. And if black men said that, then they would be castigated. But most black women took this, what Issa Rae said and kind of laughed it off. Like, oh, she was just joking. She wasn't serious. No. She was very serious. She went to Stanford. She saw what it was like. She saw how awkward she was and she probably did vibe with the Asian community. So in that sense, I can kind of understand that. But she's not the first is even though she's kind of rare. There's only only a few black women I ever hear talking about dating Asian men. Really, there's only a few groups other than outside of the Asian community. I hear talking about dating Asian men. Normally they're shorter, they're slighter, they're uh, not as muscularly built. Normally they're not quite as aggressive. I said normally, there there are exceptions. They're not as aggressively built or as aggressively tempered. And all the Asian groups they tend to stick together. They Even amongst Asians, they don't cross pollinate very much. So it is kind of rare to see it. I've seen it even in Los Angeles where you have a very large Asian population. I mean, extremely large Asian population. And as much as uh, the 
populations kind of mix in Los Angeles. It's still kind of rare to see Asians and blacks kind to kind of um, mix. Normally, when you see an Asian, you can see Asian men and black men, Asian women and black men uh, together because uh, they are in the service and they bring them back, like from Thailand or Korea. You know, you see Koreans, uh, not so much Chinese because you don't have any bases in Chinese, but in China, but Filipino, Asians, Taiwanese, Vietnamese, you see, you do see them. But even then, it is not as as not as uh, numerous as one would think and it's even rarer for you see a Asian man with a black woman I mean it's you know it's like um, in Los Angeles even though we do have a, a big Asian population it's like we it's shocking when you see an Asian man with a black woman I mean it's really shocking so I think that even though Issa was probably serious and Issa knows that that kind of stuff goes on and she was joking but you can tell by Issa Rae she doesn't joke about things that she doesn't think is true or she doesn't feel is true so to say that uh, Issa Rae wasn't serious by black women saying that especially black feminists saying that come on now you know that's bullshit she was serious as heart attack and you know if Asian men would accept you in great numbers that you guys would flock especially since Asians earn uh, quite a bit more than uh, most ethnic groups. So if a black woman want to date out, get you a nice Jewish boy and be happy. Okay, traditionally Jewish men marry, I would say Jewish, I've seen more Jewish men with black women than I've seen um, practically of any other grouping. But, Issa Rae hasn't said anything actually more than what black men have said as far as black women being at the bottom of the dating pool. <laughs> you know, uh, online, especially in black YouTube, uh, the the uh, Negro Manosphere has been saying it for the hell, at least the five years that I've been around uh, YouTube and the Negro Manosphere. They've been saying that. So Issa Rae is doing nothing more than repeating the same thing we've said the only thing is we've got a lot of heat for saying that we catch a lot of hell get a lot of copyright strikes and a lot of community strikes for saying that but Issa Rae uh, they let her laugh that off so in that sense I find that quite, kind of unfair but that is the double standard and the conundrum that black women are but I really would love to know what black women really think about Issa Rae saying that you guys are at the bottom of the dating pool along with the Asian men. That's the part that gets missed and that's the part that they skip over. Now that's the part that the black manosphere should really embrace about it and not get mad about it. Embrace it. That's what she said and black women agree with it. I think we should let them wear that, uh, they wear that L. They try to play it off with uh, being the most educated instead of uh, wearing the L about being the most unwanted. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. This is BGS out, and I will see you guys on the next one.